Right then, we're back opening some battle packs today. Now, I have three different revisions to open today. I have eight of revision two that I was trying to get ten of. I have nine of revision three that I was trying to get ten of. And I have the first one of revision four. Now, I was trying to get ten of each revision so I could just do ten per episode, but... Every time I get close to getting 10, dice bring out a new revision. And that happened this morning. I was about to get my 10th battle pack for revision 3. I got it on the end of round screen, so I was really happy. And then I came in here and I was like, damn it, it's revision 4. So um, I haven't had the best of luck, but I do count myself lucky because all of these have been earned in-game. And I know a lot of other people are having some problems where the random system's really not working for them. I really hope dice change it so that it's based on your performance a little bit more as opposed to just being random. But let's quickly look at what we can get in Revision 4. So the legendaries, we've got the Medicine or the Medicine for Russian 1895. Um, obviously, I can't show you any more because I can't inspect these because I haven't got them. Uh, and then we've got the Legionnaire for the number three revolver and the Fock for the M1909 LMG. If we come down to some of the distinguished, we've got the Hotzendorf, the Dragoon, the Falkenhayn, the Brusilov, the Warhorse again making an appearance. That was in revision number one for the BAR or the Bar. Some people had a go at me for calling it a BAR, but whatever. So that was in Revision 1, and it's now in Revision 4 again. So anyone out there who thought, oh, just because I didn't get anything from Revision 1, 2, or 3, I'm not going to be able to get those skins again, actually the likelihood is you are going to be able to get them. So they've got the Jaeger as well, the Bruiser, and then down here we've got some of the specials which really aren't that special. And of course, always the possibility of getting some of those puzzle pieces for the melee weapons. Now... I don't know what order to open these in. I think, do you know what? I'll open Revision 4 first because I've only got one of them. I hope I get one of the legendaries. It'd be really cool if we do. Obviously, we're looking for the light when the pack opens and we'll know what we got. So here we go. Ah, oh, it's only a special skin. The Royal Order for the 1918. Well, we haven't got it, so I guess we should keep it. I'll add it to the, uh, add it to the inventory. Oh, we got a puzzle piece, though. That's awesome. Now, I haven't actually got either of these melee weapons yet, and I've got two puzzle pieces each. I really just want to get one, you know? That would be that would be much nicer, but... Ah, um, yeah, well, we're making our way up there. Let's go back to these battle packs. Now, I'm going to go through Revision 3 first, because they're the more recent ones that I think people will probably know, and I really want the Archduke for the Hellregal, because the Hellregal's probably my favorite weapon in the game. I just absolutely love using it on Argon Forest. So here we go. We've got nine of these to open. Let's hope we get some good stuff. Ah, uh, only a special. Do you know what? That's actually a really nice skin for the, uh, the 1903. That's actually a really nice looking one. The ornate engraving there looks really cool. We'll add that to the inventory. And then we'll, uh, we'll go in. Revision 3 again. Oh, distinguished this time. Oh, yeah. The Von Schlieffen. <laughs> I watched Jack Frank's video for that. It was just a high-pitched voice for Von Schlieffen. No, that's actually a really nice skin. I wish it was for the Gewehr M95 Infantry, not the 98. The Gewehr M95 Infantry is probably the best bolt-action iron sights rifle in the game. Because it is a bolt action, so you don't have to zoom out. And people had a go at me for that, for doing that in my last video. But never mind. We'll keep that one. Add that to our inventory. And uh, let's open our now third, Revision 3. Oh, we got a good one. Yes! The Archduke for the Hell Regal. That's exactly what I wanted. It's such a good-looking skin. It's got, like, this blue tint to the metal and it's got some like burlap on the uh on the stock there that looks really really nice oh i'm gonna equip that in game in a minute and just go for a run around with it that thing looks so cool oh feels so good to have that in my inventory right come on revision three give me some of the other good good skins here nope just a special could be a good one though oh Veteran cap. That looks exactly the same as the standard Hell Regal. I bet it is slightly different, but it looks exactly the same. Oh, well, we'll keep it because it is a Hell Regal skin, so I guess that's always good. Right. Five packs left of Revision 3. Let's see what we get. Oh, Distinguished. 
Ooh, for the P08. The count can can A2. I have no idea how you pronounce that. We'll add that to our inventory. I don't really use the P08. I'm more of a 1911 kind of guy, but you know what? It's good to have some of those high level skins, so we'll keep that anyway. At the end, we'll go through and we'll scrap some and see if we can get some higher level battle packs to open. Right, four left for revision three. Oh, another distinguished. Oh, that looks nice. Dillinger for the Model 10A. I think you can get the Riot skin for the Model 10A as well, which is kind of similar to this one, but I think it's got a different colored pattern on it. But still, that's a really nice looking camo. And I don't actually have many shotgun skins, so uh, that's something nice to have in your inventory. So we'll keep that one. Right, three packs left for revision three. Here we go. Dice, please. Oh, another distinguished. Wow. That's like a white chocolate version of the M1918. The Isonzo, I think that is. That's really cool. I mean, that's not going to blend into any... In fact, no. That will probably blend in on some of the desert maps like Suez. That's probably where that weapon is going to blend in more. But if you were playing on, like, Argon Forest, that thing's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Anyway, two packs left. Dice, please. Legendary. Oh, another distinguished. We're on a roll here. Ah, already got this one. But we can scrap it, which pushes our total of scraps up to 280 now, I think. Yep, 280 scraps. That's always good. And our last revision three. Here we go. Legendary, please. Ah, oh, only a special. Never mind. What have we got? Ah, camouflage pattern for the 1907. I'm not too fond of that, but I guess it's probably one of the better camos if you're going to blend in a little bit. But really... Does it matter about blending in? I mean, in Battlefield 1, if you spot somebody, they have a little red icon above their head anyway. So I guess having a camo on your, on your weapon doesn't really matter. We'll add that one to our inventory anyway. Right, moving on now. We have eight Revision 2 Battle Packs. Obviously, these are quite old now. I'm not even sure what skins you could have got in them. There's the Riot for the Model 10A, the Hummingbird for the Calibri, the Edelweiss for the Gewehr N95. That's what I'm looking for. And probably the Galicia as well, or the Galicia. I don't know how you pronounce it, but... Those two are probably the ones I want, which is one Legendary and one Distinguished, both for the Gewehr N95. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's see what we get. Uh, starting off with a special. It's pretty standard. Uh, I think we've already got that one. Veteran. Oh, no. I haven't got that one. I've had a different one for the C96, but we'll add that one to our infantry. I don't really use the C96 that much, but it is a very good pistol. Okay, seven to go. Please give me something good. Oh, another special. That is ugly. That is really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> They've changed some of the uh, some of the metal on it, so there's a bit of gold there. But the wood is just a little bit darker than normal here on the 1916. Do you know what? I'm not really interested in that, but we'll keep it because uh, we don't have it. Oh, we got a puzzle piece. That's for the sawtooth knife. So we now have three of five, I think. Yes, we do. We have three of five for the sawtooth knife. Now you can sell the scrap and scrap it for 270 scraps a piece. So you could get quite a lot out of some of these uh, legendary weapons here. But you know what? We're going to keep them because I want to unlock them in the game and try them out, see how they feel. But um, it's nice to know that we're working our way up towards five pieces. Now, still haven't seen any distinguished or legendaries for uh, Revision 2. So hopefully we get something good in these last six. Ah, another special. Wow. Wow. Camouflage masking for the 1907. Hmm. That really doesn't look very nice, but we'll keep it anyway. Right. Five left to go. Another special. Dice, please. Ah, oh, that's for the Gewehr 98 Infantry. I, like, obviously these skins are unlocked for every variant of the weapon, but I don't really use the Gewehr 98. I prefer to use the Springfield, the 1903. So, um... Getting skins for those weapons doesn't really bother me all that much. Come on, please give me a Distinguished or a Legendary. Another special. What's going on, Dice? Oh, did get something for the Calibri, though. The Royal Edict. That's a really funny name for a skin, but actually that does look quite nice. There's some good good engraving on there. And over, well, Do you know what? Overall, the Calibri is probably the best weapon that you can get as a sidearm. Straight up OP as well. <laughs> Add that to our inventory. Right, three packs to go. 
Dice. Please. Give me something nice. Just please. Another special! What are you doing to me? Model 10A factory, right. Just add that straight to the inventory. We're just going to move straight on. Another one. Oh, a distinguished, finally! Oh, it wasn't the one I wanted. It's nice skin, though. The brawler does look very nice. I can use that on my Model 10A Hunter, which is probably the OP shotgun in the game right now. That's a nice skin to have, actually. Add that to the inventory. And our final battle pack, well, before we look at what we can scrap. And this one was awarded for premium membership. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, so I didn't earn this one in-game. Don't ask me how I got it as a Revision 2 battle pack. Probably should have got it as Revision 1, but never mind. We're going to open this one up and see what we get. Come on, give me a good one to finish. Oh, a distinguished. Oh, I got it again. Why didn't you give me the Gewehr M95 skin? Ah, oh, well, never mind. We'll scrap this one. Obviously, that pushes our scraps up a little bit further. So we've now got... Oh, that was a puzzle piece. Oh, we've now got three for the Bartek Bludgeon and three for the Sawtooth Knight. That's actually really good. So we're now pushing our way further and further up to getting these two unlocked in the game. Now, we haven't got any left, but we're going to go into our inventory and we're going to scrap some of these low-level skins. So, please stand by. What can I actually afford for 640? I think I can only get an enhanced battle pack for that. I can. And it's going to be a revision 4 one. Which I guess is a good thing. Okay. Let's buy that. Here we go. Enhanced battle pack. So we're definitely going to get a distinguished camo of some sort. We're definitely going to get one of those. Chance of getting a legendary and a chance of getting a puzzle piece for our Bartek bludgeon or the sawtooth knife. So here we go. Praying to dice that I get something good here. Let's see what we get. Ah, it's a distinguished. There we go. The Dragoon for the Gasser M1870. Looks very nice. It's kind of like a golden revolver. It's not quite gold, in my opinion. There's a couple of people out there that don't like the gold skins. But, but there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to keep that one. Although, do you know what? I don't even use the Gasser. But do you know what? It's a distinguished camo. We're going to keep it. So there we go. Opened up all my battle packs. Kind of feel a little bit empty now. There's no battle packs left in my life, but never mind. If I get any more throughout Revision 4, then I'll do another battle pack opening in the future. You guys showed massive support for these videos in the past. There is a group of people that don't really like them. And I get that the battle pack system at the moment isn't as good as it could be. So hopefully DICE watch my video from last week and they can take some of our ideas. But I'm going to keep making these videos because... There lots of comments saying that you liked watching me and my experience of opening them and, and my reactions to it. So if you like that kind of stuff, then, you know, these videos are for you. If you don't like these videos, you know, there is an option not to watch them. You don't have to click on the video if you don't want to. But thank you very much for watching anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.